Hey YouTube, this is the Robin Hood Investor. Today I'm going to go over a stock that is reporting earnings tomorrow. The stock is Adobe, ticker symbol ADBE. Adobe is a software company that focuses on marketing and media software solutions. You might know them for Adobe Photoshop, Acrobat Reader, Adobe Creative Suite, and its successor, Adobe Creative Cloud. The current price is $256.50. Market cap is $127.5 billion. PE ratio is 64 and forward PE ratio is 35, which is relatively high considering the average PE ratio is 25. But I think it's okay because it's a highly valued growth company. All right, let's take a look at the performance. Today it went up 1.4%. One week it went up 1.29%. One month was 5.99%. Three months was 16.59%. One year, 84.81% and five-year, 493.48%. The dividend yield is zero, which means they are reinvesting all profits back into growth. I like Adobe because it offers a rare combination of market-leading digital services at high margins that have become predictable since almost 90% of revenue is subscription-based, which explains the stock's very smooth climb over the past five years, as you can see in this chart. In terms of revenue breakdown based on segment, digital media segment made up 70% of revenue. Uh, digital experience made up 27% and publishing made up 3% of revenue. So as I mentioned, Adobe is reporting Q2 earnings tomorrow after market close and good earnings are expected. Adobe is expected to report earnings of $1.54 per share on $2.15 billion in revenue. In the last reported quarter, Adobe delivered a positive earnings surprise of 8.39%. Adobe's surprise history has been strong quarter after quarter. The company surpassed estimates in each of the trailing four quarters with an estimate average, with an average positive surprise of 9.12%. As you can see in, in this uh, graph, every quarter it's been beating earnings report. On a year-to-date -year, year basis, the company's shares have returned 43.4%, which is very impressive considering that industry's rally was 17.1%. Uh, Revenues from digital media so solutions increased 21% year-over-year in the last reported quarter. For the upcoming reported quarter, the consensus estimate for total digital media revenue is expected at $6.04 billion, driven by strong growth in Creative Cloud and Document Cloud business lines. Creative revenue is projected at $5.36 billion, driven by net new subscriptions, Adobe, the adoption of enterprise services, and focus on high potential segments like education. So because it's, like I mentioned, it's subscription base, it's uh, pretty predictable in terms of the revenue and they're consistently growing um, each of the market segments. Within the, the marketing, digital marketing segment, Adobe experienced cloud revenues had growth in the last, record, last reported quarter. For the upcoming reported quarter, Adobe marketing cloud revenues are expected at 570 million. So all this sounds good, but would I actually add Adobe to my portfolio? I currently do not have any positions, but I plan to add it to my portfolio because it's strong and the history has been consistent with growth. It's a large market cap company, which is what I like in my portfolio. And although it doesn't have dividends, the profits are being reinvested in its growth and it looks like it's paying off based on its financials. So that's all for this video. What are your thoughts on Adobe? Comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about investing, subscribe to this channel. That's all for this video and see you in the next one.